Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. My name is Dana. I will be your host, and my guest today is David Favario. Hello, David. How are you? I'm doing great, Dana. Thank you. How are you today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great, and I'm excited to talk about our topic today, which is data destruction, which I have not covered this yet on my videos. But before we get started, why don't you take a minute and just share a little bit about you and your company and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, Puffer Sustainability Solutions is a uh, NAID AAA certified data destruction company, and we're also an e-recycler. Um, we've been around for just over three years, growing quickly. Um, we brought this company together because we want to do the right things for the environment, and the data destruction came along. But as we grew our company, we actually, uh, you know, our passion is the environment, but um, our expertise is data destruction. We became experts in data destruction. Well, and that's a huge thing that I think a lot of people don't really think about end of life here. What are we doing with this stuff? You know, so I think I'm really happy that we're going to talk about that. And then a, a little bit about, you know, CMMC. So that's an important part of, of all of this too. And there's going to be more compliance frameworks coming down the road that are going to wind up affecting everybody. So you're going to be a busy guy. <laughs> <We're hoping for. laughs> all right. So the first thing I want to talk about is how does data destruction pertain to CMMC? So CMMC uh, has a data destruction component to it, right? The data has to be destroyed the right way. Um, and there are many ways to do that. For us, the easiest way um, is obviously to have an independent contractor come in and take care of the data for you. A, they're independent. So if you're audited, it's not like your people are doing the data destruction and using up their time, but an outside party is. Um, so that independence is, is pretty important. Um, and then it's a matter of doing it the right way. Um, how's the data being destroyed? Is it meeting the requirements? Um, we actually had a client who went through a CMMC audit recently um, and data destruction was audited. And it turned out that he had misplaced one of the receipts we gave him for a drive uh, when we did the pickup. So I got a call on my cell phone on a Saturday morning um, and he was a little worried about it. So I was able to run into the office and send him the paperwork and he did fine on the audit. Um, but we know that it is part of CMMC and it is being audited. So when you talk about data destruction, and obviously there's a hardware component to some of it, but then there's also things that are up in the cloud, right? So before, just can you just share a little bit about you know how you how you go about that when you get a new client? You must have to find the data first and locate it, and then figure out what the plan is to get rid of it. Yeah. So hopefully they know where the data is already and they've already mapped out where their data goes. And if it's in the cloud, then there are certain requirements for the cloud providers to have in order to meet CMMC requirements. Um, now, we will only get involved with the cloud data destruction if we're brought in by a data center. We, re we recently did a very large job for a Philadelphia data center where they had to get rid of data and they brought us in and we destroyed the data, gave them all the certification. Um, now, when it comes to the company and devices that are in-house and devices that they're using, um, even if it's in the cloud, it's going to store temporary files or they'll be downloading the, uh, information to their devices. So those need to be considered also for data destruction. Um, we do the same thing we did when we handled the company in the cloud, right? We show up or any AAA NAID certified company will show up, gather the uh the, the devices provide a receipt for what they picked up, even though it may be a general receipt, because sometimes you get boxes and boxes of stuff. Um, and then it's a matter of destroying data the right way and providing the certification and the documentation um, so that if the auditor comes in, you have all the reports in your hands so you can give it to the auditor and hopefully they see it, they like it, and they move on. That, that's our goal. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's a good goal to have. OK, let's let's get them out of here. Um, so are there different ways to destroy data or, you know, what's the process, you know, not to give away your secrets or whatever, but, you know, how do you destroy data? So there are really no secrets, right? You can Google it. There, there are a number of, of ways that companies destroy data, um, whether they're a data destruction company or a, a company in general. Um, Puffish only does it a certain number of ways. We will sanitize the data on a device. So if it's a hard drive, a standard hard drive or an SSD, we'll sanitize the data, which basically involves writing a character over every single spot on that, that drive so the data is gone forever. And there's software that meets various requirements. We have one that, that meets 24 international standards for data destruction. And as part of our NAID certification, they came in and they gave us drives to sanitize. 
um, and they sent them out to see if the data could be, reco be recovered, but they also just randomly chose about 15 drives out of our stock and sent them out also um, to make sure that there could be no data retrieved from those drives. Um, now, if for some reason sanitization fails on an SSD, you know, it be it a cell phone or, a, or, a, or, a, or just a, a solid state hard drive, we will shred at that point because our shredder, and I keep this right here, our shredder can shred, you know, enough to destroy every chip on the device. So that data is gone forever there also. Hard drives, standard hard drives, the old platters, they can be sanitized also, and those devices can then be reused as can an SSD. Um, however, some clients want more than that, um, or if a sanitization on a hard drive fails, we then degauss it, which basically demagnetizes the platters and gets rid of all of that data. That data is basically thrown up in the air, gone forever, um, but the drive can no longer be used because you demagnetize the drive. Um, so then we just send, we basically bend it, which means NSA requirements for the most uh, confidential information. And then we just send it out to be recycled as the PC boards and the metals. Um, there are companies that will shred a hard drive, a standard hard drive. We will not do that because you can still retrieve data off of a shredded piece of hard drive. There's equipment that can do that. And I can only assume technology will get better and that will become easier to do and less expensive to do. So um, I would just make sure with whatever company you're choosing to do your data destruction, you choose somebody that will completely destroy the data before that device is recycled or repurposed. Wow, that's amazing that they can do that after a hard drive has been shredded, maybe yeah. get some information off of that. Wow, that's impressive. Um, okay, so what's the difference between data destruction and e-recycling? So we run into a lot of um, clients and potential clients um, that will be using an e-recycler instead of a data destruction company. Um, e-recyclers can be NAID certified, um, but usually the, the tip off for me is when I'm talking to somebody and we start to talk about pricing and we start to talk about per unit pricing because that's the way we handle it. Um, and they say, wait a minute, don't you charge by the pound? So right there is the, the tip off that you're dealing with a recycler because the recyclers do work uh, by pounds. Um, there are some e-recyclers that I'm sure do the right thing out there, um, but unless they're certified, you don't know where those devices are going to wind up. For them to make money, they've got to get rid of, they've either got to send it to a smelter to process the metals out of the devices, or they're going to send it overseas, either for repurposing or to have the breakdown of the devices done there. Um, so again, you have to be really careful. You're using um, somebody who's certified, R2 and E-Stewards are um, two certifications that recyclers have. Um, so you should look for that. Um, or you look for a NAID certified data destruction company. And we are, we are required then to um, destroy the data properly, but also uh, send the devices downstream to somebody who's certified or do it the right way ourselves. Um, so we have to use an R2 certified recycler. Is everything that you do on site? Yes, everything we do is on site. Um, you know, I can't speak for everybody else, but yes, everything is on site and a NAID certified recycler, they're certified at each site. So say for instance, I grow and I wanna move into the Washington DC area. My certification does not carry through to Washington DC. I would have to go through the NAID certification process at that site. They want to make sure that we're, our employees have been background checked and drug tested and have passed tests. They want to make sure our building's secure. They want to make sure our vehicles are secure. They got to want to make sure we have cameras all over this place to make sure we can track, you know, every piece of equipment, no matter where it winds up. Um, so that's all part of the auditing process. And Nate wants to make sure that uh, each, each site is secure. So this, uh, this sounds very complicated. So I'm sure there are people out there that this is one of the things we just want to throw out there that can a company destroy their own data? Are you having a hard time finding new customers? A lot of folks just like you in the IT and cybersecurity space are in the same situation. And they have embraced a new opportunity to get new clients. They're doing this by growing their online presence and maximizing the power of LinkedIn. How, you ask? I have a tried and tested method called my cyber social program. 
I myself have been on LinkedIn and now have over 3.5 million LinkedIn views. And over on YouTube, I have over 750,000 video views. So I can show you exactly how I have done that so that you can promote your organization and become the authority in your industry. And the best part is I've done all of this organically without one paid ad. You don't need to waste your money over on Google with pay-per-click ads. Now's the time to establish yourself. Look around. The competition isn't doing it. This is your time to shine online before they do. So if you're ready to start your online journey and future-proof your business, please, down below, click the link and schedule a time for us to have a 45-minute call where I can review the exact methodology of the Cyber Social Program. You can also click below to see some of my masterclasses, which will give you quick little snippets of a couple of things you can do right away on LinkedIn that will help with your profile. I hope to see you and hear from you soon. They can. They certainly can. You know, we had a client once, uh, you know, I went there to pick up the data and they were very organized and they were an ongoing client. Um, very organized. The guy was great. He had everything in the air in one area for us to pick up. And he like puffed out his chest and he was really proud of the fact that he had sanitized every device. It took him a year and a half, but he had sanitized it. So there was no reason for us to do it. Um, so I, I had to tell him I felt a little bad that, you know, we still have to sanitize it because we have to be sure that it was sanitized and sanitized the right way. And that it would probably take me a day or two to sanitize all those devices that he spent a year and a half doing. So We've done subsequent uh, pickups from him and he has not sanitized the devices. He's kind of let us do it. <laughs> oh, that that's terrible. Talk about just a big stab in the heart. <laughs> Everything you've been doing you know, for the last year and a half. <laughs> that's part of what we do, right? We can do volume. So, you know, you have to look at the fact if, as a company, do you want your IT people really messing around with trying to sanitize a device which can take hours or days? Um, or do you want them out there helping the user? Um, you know, keep them up and running because that's really what IT should be focusing on. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of heavy list, lifting, a lot of, uh, you know, documentation that has to get done. Um, so again, yes, you can sanitize your own devices. Um, there is software you can buy out there um, that I'm sure will work for you. Um, but uh, I would not recommend driving a nail or driving a drill through a hard drive. We've heard of that before from some mm -hmm. pretty, big companies. Um, so yeah, it's usually better to leave it to an expert to take care of data destruction. So when someone's looking for a data destruction company, what are a couple of questions that they should be asking? So I guess the certification is the biggest thing, right? If they're AAA NAID certified, if they are, as I mentioned, you know, their employees have been background tested, drug tested, and passed exams, if they're allowed to handle data without any supervision. Um, they've their building, their vehicles have all been checked, their procedures have been checked, and NAID will actually, um, they can they show up at our facility and knock on the door and they want to walk through our facility immediately to make sure that, you know, everybody's, that near data is data certified. Um, they will uh, make sure our cameras are working. They can go back six months to ask us for recordings. So it's, it's pretty thorough. Um, they will also come out and follow us on a pickup. Um, without us knowing, just to make sure that devices are being placed in the vehicles correctly and that we're handling data correctly. So NAID certification is the, probably the biggest thing. But I would ask that next step. You know, what are the ways that you sanitize the data, degauss the data, if you shred hard drives? Because um, that should all play into it. You know, there, there may or may not be a savings for shredding a hard drive. You know, some shredders will come in and they'll just shred a whole bunch of hard drives. But are you getting the right documentation? Are you getting the right certification? Um, you know, we have a sample packet of certificates and reports that we send out to uh, people that ask for it because we want them to see what we're doing. You know, another good question is if they can come to the facility and see it. A lot of recyclers and a lot of data destruction companies don't want you in their facilities because for whatever reason, right? It, it can get dirty or, or whatever. We have an open door policy. You know, you can come in. We always ask that you call in advance. Um, because we have nothing to hide. We want you to see that your data is being handled the right way. We've actually had clients come in and watch us degauss drives. Um, and that's fine too. You know, if it takes an hour or two, we're doing it anyway. If they don't mind, you know, standing around and, and waiting for us to document things and go through the process, you know, they're very welcome to do that. So I guess if the, the, the data destruction company is open and transparent, that's, that's really what you want to look for. 
I would agree with that. It makes a lot of sense. Okay, another quick CMMC question. So as we know, CMMC is huge and it's on the brink and about to happen and all that kind of st good stuff. So why would you say that data destruction is a good place to start with that? It's easy, right? The, the, I was at a seminar um, over at uh, Stony Brook University last week, and it was about CMMC and cybersecurity. And they always talked about, they talked about this thing called completion paralysis, where companies get paralyzed to do anything because they always want to have a complete process in place. And it can be very complex. And they said to take little bites of, of what you can do. For me, data destruction is easy, right? It's the, the tail end of the process. Um, it's something that you can take care of very easily with a phone call um, and you can check that box off your list. And we know that it's being audited. And if an auditor knows how, you know, you mentioned earlier that it sounds like it's a complex process. It is, but it isn't, right? Basically, we're taking your old stuff and your old data and we're destroying it. That's all you really need to know. You know, once you once you have confidence in the company you're dealing with. It can get a little complex on our side because, you know, we all deal with computers and they always do weird things. Uh, you know, devices that we destroy are kind of the same way, um, but we work around it and we get it done the right way. Um, but in regards to CMMC, it's a real easy place to start, right? It's a matter of finding a provider, bringing them in. They should do all the heavy lifting. They should do all the reporting. Um, and that part is done easy. So when an auditor comes in, this easy part is taken care of. If you're not needing the easy part, I'm sure the auditor will think, okay, what else are they not doing if they can't handle this easy part? You know, I grew up in banking, so I've been through audits and, yeah. um, you know, it's, you just got to learn to get through the audit. <laughs> and that, that does make sense to start at the end. And then at least, you know, when you can check some part of the whole entire process off, it's, it gives you a feeling like, okay, all right, we got a little bit of this done, you know, now move on yep. to something else. And I think that's excellent advice about breaking CMMC down into smaller components because it's very overwhelming. If someone was just to sit here and rattle off everything you need to do in one sitting, I, I don't think there's many people that would be able to take in that much information and not have a heart attack. So, yep. so that's a good point. Yep. Yeah. The small bites are the best way to go like anything big right any big project yeah well that's great all right well so is there anything else you want to share before we go here um no i mean i guess when it comes to data destruction make sure it's done the right way you know a data breach can cost four to five million dollars to recover from for a company even if it's a small data breach that can be as simple as somebody walking out with an old hard drive or an old laptop that's sitting around um you know it we used to deal a lot with the it people we started to focus more on the, the finance people because really what we're doing is risk management. You know, the cost of what it takes to destroy the right data versus what the cost of a data breach is. Um, and it's it's really, uh, it, it really becomes an easier decision when you look at it that way, when you look at the cost versus, versus the overall cost of a breach. Um, so yeah, I think it's, when you make that decision, just make sure you're you're dealing with the right partner. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and you would be one of those good partners. So why don't you share a little bit about how people can find you and get in touch with you? So, uh, you know, you can you can call us, you know, our phone number is 631-403-1100. Um, we're on the web at uh, pupfishusa.com. Um, and, you know, we share a lot of information on there. Um, we're pretty easy to find when when you need to find us. All right. Fantastic. Well, thank you for your time, David. I really appreciate this. This was very valuable. And again, something that people don't necessarily think of. And with all these compliance frameworks starting to pop up, obviously data destruction is going to be a very important aspect of it. So thank you for that. That's great, Dana. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Till next time. Take care. Bye-bye.